So let's take a look at some chat GPT-4 prompts for small businesses and startups. Let's get started right away. Here's the first prompt down below. You can notice that there's gonna be an X in it. This is what you can replace. And of course we will go from there. So as a startup, I am looking to create a course about X. So course can also be changed around. This is gonna be some something for a product overall. So there we go. Give me multiple ways of creating this course. So obviously this would change based upon what you're wanting to create so that I can reach people all over the world. So as a startup, I am looking to create a new widget. I am looking to create a course. I am looking to create the next iPhone, whatever it's going to be. So I did course because courses are very popular with marketing and whatnot. So I'm looking to create a course about, let's go with fitness. I like doing fitness stuff, getting six pack abs, okay? Used to be a personal trainer, so I like talking about fitness. Maybe, probably should have gone with golf. I haven't done golf in a while. But anyway, give me multiple ways of creating this course so I can reach people all over the world. So you might have the idea of just creating it, but then what do you do from there? So this is going to give you some ideas about how you can expand in many ways. Let's hit enter and give me a sec. I will come back in a few seconds when this is done and we can talk about it. All right, so just quickly looking through it, we have some good tips here. Not only is it about creating the course, but more so where you can do it and how you can promote it in multiple ways. So even if you weren't a specific startup, maybe you've been around for a little bit and you want to do some type of course or product, this prompt will still help you out. So online course platform. So right off the bat, like I said, maybe you wanted to host it yourself, but there are going to be other platforms and spots where you can put it to get more traffic and attention. So use popular platforms like Teachable, Udemy, or Coursera to host your course. These platforms offer a built-in user base and can handle content hosting, payment processing, and course management. So there you go. Maybe you wanted to host it yourself. Maybe you also wanted to put it up on Udemy or similar places like that where you can sell it for a similar price. And while Udemy might get their cut, it's so much better that it allows you to obviously see build up customers for your online course. Website with a membership area. Create your own website with a membership area where users can sign up and access course materials. This provides full control over your content and pricing, but requires more effort in marketing and management. So like I said, you could do a combination of both of these. So that's always a good thing. Like this is where you host it yourself. YouTube series, created for YouTube series to reach a wider audience. You can monetize your channel through ads and sponsorship sponsorships or use it as a funnel to drive traffic to your paid courses. So a way of getting traffic. Then we have live webinars, offer live webinars through platforms like Zoom or WebEx, where you can interact with participants in real time, record these sessions and make them available for purchase or as part of your main course. So that's a really good idea. There's multiple things to dissect from this. So first and foremost, you can use a live webinar to sell your course. Once you're done with that, you can turn it into an evergreen webinar where it runs around the clock. Or what you can do is just do a live webinar where people pay for it and turn that into the course and then sell it. So there's a lot going on there. That was a good one. Podcast series, once again, this is kind of like creating a YouTube channel, but it's a podcast and you talk about it and you can recommend your product, ebooks and PDF guides. So just kind of skimming through. This could be something that you give away for free, which obviously leads to purchasing. Mobile app, you know, if you're getting into a little bit more of the techie stuff, but there's usually some good software for that. Developing it for workouts, nutrition tips, and progress tracking. I use one called Carbon. It's very good, which is a good way of doing that if you're going to be going down that route. Social media utilize platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Once again, similar to YouTube, but just different platforms. A collab and partnerships, whether it's influencers, other gyms, and so on and so forth. Then we have translation and localization. To make your course accessible to a global audience, consider translating and localizing your content in multiple languages. Good tip, but probably not the one you're going to want to do right away. You know, you got to start getting customers and traffic before. I mean, I'd probably do that myself and then you can do that after. So that was a good one. Let's go back to new chat. Let's go to four, chat GPT-4 and go with the next one. All right. So now that we have some information previously, what we want to do is utilize a prompt and kind of connect what we talked about in the previous section. So Write a startup business plan for creating my six pack abs course. More detail from previous. I will have $500 to work with getting started with getting this online business started. So write a startup business for creating. And let's see, I want to delete this. And so pretty much here, you just need to decide what you're going to be doing. So let me type this in. Okay, so I just said about my six pack course, six pack abs course, well, I'll be offering it on my website as well as on Udemy to get some extra traffic. The course will cost $97 on both platforms and $500 to work with. And once again, I will be back in the future in a couple of seconds. 
All right, and I am back from the future. The future has been great. <laughs> let's just quickly go over it. I'm not going to read everything, but let's see. The course will be offered on both our website and Udemy platform priced at 97 Our target market includes fitness enthusiasts and individuals seeking effective and structured guidance to attain a healthier lifestyle. We will utilize a $500 budget to kickstart the online business through strategic marketing and customer acquisition. So description, analysis, this is kind of what they had up there. Industry analysis, users are willing to pay for high quality fitness programs, especially those tailored. It will include a six week workout program, weekly workout schedules, nutritional guidance, access to a private online community, bonus content such as exercises, tips, maintaining progress, so on and so forth focus on the following tactics. So it's good that it has this. The last prompt is actually going to go much deeper into this. So I'm glad it didn't give a whole lot because I want to talk more about that. So we have content marketing, social media marketing, influencer partnerships, and email marketing. Looks good. Sales channels, our website, and Udemy. Those are going to be the two big ones as we talked about operations. So that's going to be developing, recording course content, managing social media and marketing efforts, responding to, to customer inquiries and providing support, monitoring course performance and making improvements as needed. And last is going to be financial projections. So we aim, let's see what it has this time. I remember last time it said, okay, good. We aim to recover our initial cost within the first few months. <laughs> Last time I did a business plan, it's like we aim to recover our initial investment. I think it was a thousand dollars within like the first year. And I was like, uh, I hope so. <laughs> like that is a very long time. If it takes that long to get your money back, something needs to be fixed. But this was pretty good for like the business plan overall. And let's do the last one. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back here. I can utilize this. So let's paste it in. Give me a wide variety of examples where I can invest my $500 for getting traffic and leads to sa and sales to my six pack abs online course. So it touched upon this a little bit, but I want much more content. You can see it's capable of giving us much more. So let's do that. Given the fact we're already in this specific chat, it'll give us some good context. So once again, I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We have a good amount of content. We have a lot more than the previous one, which is glad. I'm glad I did it separately. So just kind of quickly glancing over with content marketing, blog posts, and YouTube, social media marketing, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. We have influencer marketing, email marketing, of course, SEO, online advertising. That's if you want to dive deeper into the uh, bank account. But like I said, this would be for $500 example. So I don't know how much you'd be able to get with that. Maybe with Bing ads, like if it's a new account, I think you get a credit or something like that, right? You can always make Make it work. Affiliate marketing is great. Like it talks about partnering with someone else if you need to. Core and Reddit, once again, aspects or forums or just questions where you can get some more traffic if needed. We have guest posting. Good, but in my opinion, the link back is the best part for the SEO purposes. I don't know how much traffic that's going to drive, but really depends on where you post and how much traffic it gets. And of course, local marketing, distribute flyers and posters. Keep in mind, if that is something you were going to do, you have to do a lot of them, not just like put one or two at your local Whole Foods or you know family friendly gym, whatever it's going to be, even if they allow you. But overall, those are going to be some chat GPT prompts for small businesses and startups. Uh, just kind of recapping it. At first, we talked about a plan when it comes to what you can do for creating your product, how you can do it, where you can do it. And then we talked about where you're going to be offering it and some of the money that you have. And then we had obviously our business plan overall. And last but not least, this one we just did, where we talked about investment options where you can get traffic leads and sales based upon your budget. And obviously, if you were going to actually use something like this, what you can do is dive deeper in the chat GPT and talk more about this. Say you wanted to just utilize YouTube because you're not, I mean, you could do all of these, but it's just going to, it's really going to limit your growth. When you focus on one, maybe two, like you can do this and then say at night, you know, you go drop off flyers, whatever it's going to be. When you focus on just maybe one or two, you're going to get a lot farther, a lot quicker. So that's about that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.